for June 23rd. And uh, here we have a, a rather cleaned house, very nicely cleaned. And um, we have uh, finally arrived almost everywhere on the sea horizon in the house, a uh, seafloor phase. Um, except, of course, still in the, uh, in the former 158 space where we are still in D phase. Now, since we have removed interior walls in the house, the entire space is one space, basically. And we don't have any more spaces, uh, uh, 86 and 158. And from, from today, we are going to, ch to change our space number. And we are going to get a new space number. We don't have our old spaces any longer. So we are becoming space 201. And we are all having the same space. You are not. You are, you are not completely separated. Yeah, we'll talk today about how to change because we have to go backwards and change some on the unit sheets. But we do need to consider that our C phase is uh, a new space number because in that phase we didn't have the interior walls in the house. Now. Um, so we have what we believe, the sea floor here in the center, even though that poses some problems. One, one, the major problem is that we have a platform lip going down from this platform 170, down under this floor on which I'm standing in the center of the house, which would mean that this floor is um, from an earlier phase, and it would be D phase, but we know that it's not. Or rather, we know that this seems to be our before the last real floor of this kind, white clay, a white plastic floor in the center. Since we cannot see here any, any more, we, we see only one more further down. And we think that that one that we see in the cross section is our B floor and then a thin layer of A floor, which would be at the bottom of it. And according to that sequence that we can see in other, uh, according to the sequence that we can see in the burial cuts, other burial cuts, uh, this would be C floor. However, the fact that this lip that belongs to the C floor on the platform uh, going down below this floor, uh, that poses a big complication, and I'm not, we're not entirely sure how to explain that, and, but I'm reluctant to say that this is B floor. I think this is really C. And the same goes for the, these big platforms, 173 and 170, and now 169, which is, uh, still has layers of C floor floors, but uh, this is certainly one of them. So we have to go down a couple layers of um, on this platform, a couple floor layers to get out, to get to the earliest, um, earliest sea floor. Part. Now, obviously, at that stage, at that phase, the floor was uh, the platform was huge and was going all the way into the uh, west wall and the south wall, and was connected to the central floors in this space, in space, <coughs> former space 150. And the central floor was, um, as we can see, white and, and very thick and very multi-layered and stuff. So because this floor on the platform 169 is continuous here, it goes um, via this lip that and little ring that went around the post hole into the floor in the central space here. Uh, it, these are the same floors. And then it goes up, it has a little lip here, and then it goes in this squarish basin feature that was here along the west wall. So this floor then, being the sea floor, would go up and into the sea floor in this space. But these sea floors are very are late up here. We, we, they're very late and they're later than the sea floors here. We know that because we have a number of them 
we can see in this cut number of them that you, that were going up and above here and then all the way to the end of that platform but now they they all were cut and destroyed um, because of the types of activities that were taking place in this corner and so here we have more of them um, 